Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're gonna talk about a pattern that I use quite a lot, uh, which is to create a virtual environment from nothing. And I guess when I say from nothing, I mean, you have to have Python installed because of course you have to have Python installed. Um, and I'm gonna show you two different ways to do this. Um, one of them is going to use virtual env and the other one is going to use vmv. Um, and if you haven't seen my virtual env versus vmv video, uh, I'll link that in the description and it talks about why you might not have VMV available. Uh, but yeah, let's jump into it. Okay, so first we're gonna talk about VMV, uh, which should be a standard library module that ships with your Python. Oops, looks like I had this left over from before. Um, and most of the time you will have the VMV module available. However, on some Linux distributions, they choose to leave this module out. So for instance, on Ubuntu or Debian, you might not have this module. Um, let's see if I have it today. Um, so I'm going to use Python 3. So it has to be Python 3 because the VMV module was introduced, I believe, in Python 3.2 or 3.3. Uh, you know, any modern Python 3 should work, though. Uh, and you will use dash MVMV. This will invoke the VMV module. And it looks like I do have it available. Now, uh, and on Debian-like systems where it's not always available, so like if I do Python 3.9-m vm uh, vm 3.9, this will, oh, maybe I have it for 3.9. <laughs> One of these I don't have it for. Yeah, okay, there we go. Uh, so sometimes on uh, Debian systems, you won't have the vm module available. So for instance, I, in my Python 3.7 install, I do not have it available. Uh, and it gives kind of this cryptic command here, which is like this returned non-zero exit status one. And if you copy this command and remove commas in here and then run it, uh, we gotta remove another double quote here. Uh, you'll get this no module named ensure pip. And uh, unfortunately you kind of have to just know at this point that ensure pip is a module that Debian splits out. And in order to get that module, you can use sudo apt install whatever version you're dealing with dash vm. So in this case, it's Python 3.7 dash vm. Uh, the default package for Python 3 would be Python 3 dash vm. Uh, and of course, if you type in password here and uh, run that, then it'll install the vm module and you can use that like, like so. So that'll set up your virtual environment. Now, unfortunately, it's a little bit slow. You'll notice that um, even the native VMV module, which doesn't do all that much, is still taking almost two and a half seconds to make a virtual environment. Um, and if you've watched my other uh, virtual env versus VMV uh, video, you'll know that virtual env is a lot faster than that. And RM VVV and oops, RM dash RF, yes. Um, and you'll notice like if I use virtual env, this takes 240 milliseconds, which is a lot faster, almost 10 times faster. Okay, we talked about how to get a virtual env from nothing uses, using vmv. Uh, you just invoke the vmv module, which should be built in. And now let's talk about how you can create a virtual env from nothing using the virtual env module. And the way you can do that is you will download a bootstrap file, similar to get pip.py, if you're familiar with bootstrapping pip onto a system. Um, I prefer to not install virtual env or pip globally. Uh, now you'll notice I did invoke virtual env here, but if we ask which virtual env that is, it's actually sitting in my home directory. So it's it's not installed to the system. And you know, you'll notice I don't have, oops, crap, dash dash. Yeah, you'll notice I don't have virtual env installed and I also don't have pip installed. This is a wheel package to support the vmv module, not actually part of pip. So I, I actually don't install either of those globally. Uh, but the way we're going to get a virtual env from nothing is we're going to curl a particular file from bootstrap.pypa.io. Um, boot, bootstrap.pypa.io. And normally, if you're bootstrapping pip, you would use git pip.py here. Uh, we're going to instead curl virtual env.pyz. And if you watched my zip app video, you'll recognize PyZ. I'll also link the zip app video in, in the description. Uh, but PyZ is an executable zip app. We're going to actually write this out to virtualenv.pyz and curl that. Um, it's downloaded. 
I mean, it's 24 megs, but I have a pretty fast connection, so I downloaded pretty quickly. And the way we're going to run that is python3 virtualenv.pyz, and then you can just pass the virtualenv name that you want to create there. And you'll see that it successfully creates a virtual environment. And this one is a little bit slower because it has to go through the, um, the zip app bootstrapping stuff. So uh, I believe it takes about a second. Uh, that one took way longer. That was weird. Oh, well, that's that's about what I expect. You know, half a second to a second. It's pretty variable because it invokes a lot of I/O. But anyway, that's how you can bootstrap a virtual env from nothing, which may be useful in like a ch root or like uh, you know a Docker container where you're not allowed to install packages or similar situations to that. Or you could be like me and use it to manage your packages in your home directory without needing a global installation of pip or virtual env. Um, but yeah, hopefully this was useful. Hopefully you found this useful. If you have additional stuff that you want me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms such as Twitch or Twitter. Uh, but thank you all for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.